birthplace of the Constitution, home of Independence Hall, the Liberty Bell, and other precious relics of Americana. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania has long been a bastion of freedom and democracy. In keeping with the ideals of liberty and love that so embody this city, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints recently built a temple in the city of brotherly love. So much of what we have in the temple is reminiscent of the rooms in which the Constitution was signed and the Declaration of Independence. As in other areas around the world where Latter-day Saints live, work, and worship, the church makes every effort to be a good neighbor and contribute to those communities in positive ways. Philadelphia is a prime example. The temple in itself was a welcome addition to the city. But then when it was said that there would be additional development, development that would stimulate the local economy, I mean, this was awesome. The church researched what else was needed in the area. City planners and leaders agreed that a mixed-use residential tower would enhance revitalization efforts in the area known as Center City. The Alexander Tower took two and a half years to complete, employing local tradesmen to construct. This area was barren a few years ago. It was like a, this was like a big parking lot, I remember. And it's cool to see how fast and how efficient these high rises could go up. It's a beautiful thing for Philadelphia. My day starts at 4.30 in the morning. We take the hoist. Rebar comes off the trailer at 6 o'clock in the morning. By 11 o'clock, they're pouring a slab. When the concrete gets hard, we start the shear walls. I was six foot when this job started. I'm five foot five now. It's a pretty rough job. This job's good, man. It's steady, it's tough, it's a challenge. It's a treat to have a steady job like this every morning. There's a lot of pride in what we do. The, the biggest, the biggest uh, fulfillment is when you're all done and you see the building open. It's nice to see that and, and look back at it all the time and, and see what you've built and what you had a part of. The design of the 34-story apartment building is reminiscent of Philadelphia's early heritage. I think the fact that we have really mimicked uh, a lot of the historic features of, of old neighborhoods in Philadelphia feels like a beautiful old residential building that you would have seen 60, 80, 100 years ago. And it fits so nicely in this neighborhood. I do see the apartment building as an absolute enhancement. It's going to have more business people living here, growing people to live in Philadelphia instead of just commuting back and forth and really having an investment into the community overall. The Alexander is located near museums, parks, and the temple. The tower features skyline views, retail space, residential living with a variety of floor plans, and street-level townhomes, a community club room, a rooftop deck, and a spacious courtyard. I think they did a good job. They've tried to make it blend with the city. They've done research for, for the different types of details on the building. They've reached out to the community. I, I think they've done everything the right way. And we are assured that we've got a beautiful neighborhood around the temple. Since the church's temple, meeting house, and Alexander Apartments projects, more developers are investing in an area once considered blighted by city planners. It sent a signal in that area that A, people want to live there, B, there's activity going on, and I think that will have a very positive effect over the next three or four years. Along with brick and mortar, investments in communities happen in other ways too. An example, the church is a staunch advocate for preserving history. Celebrating with the rest of Philadelphia at the grand opening of the Museum of the American Revolution in 2017 as one of its partners. So in 1775, the war starts. The museum explores the dramatic story of the American Revolution through a collection of revolutionary air weapons, personal items, documents, works of art, and most impressively, George Washington's battlefield tent, the only surviving tent from that era. We've been very fortunate that donors from across the country have given to make this museum a reality. And we're especially grateful to the LDS Church for its important support at really a very early stage, when the museum was still in that dream stage. Furthering that partnership, the church's genealogical organization, Family Search International, and the museum recently debuted an immersive discovery experience dubbed Revolution Place. One important thing that the gift from the LDS Church has brought us is a partnership with FamilySearch. 
And as a result, we are creating a very innovative discovery room here in the museum that will use uh, hands-on activities and genealogy as a way to introduce people to the history of America. We feel like when a person can interact in a historical context uh, with history, that it helps it to come alive, and that helps us to connect in a deeper way to our own past. Clench those muscles, I'm about to let go. In another example of preserving history, the church recently provided digital imaging equipment to the Historical Society of Pennsylvania. Founded in 1824, the society is one of the oldest in the country and is home to some 600,000 printed items and more than 21 million manuscripts. Through the efforts of senior missionary couples over several years, nearly one and a half million genealogical records were digitized for the Historical Society. Having the temple here has enhanced and created a much broader understanding of the activity and the work that's done uh, by the Latter-day Saints uh, in the city and in the region. The Philadelphia Temple and Meeting House, the Alexander Apartment Complex, and the Museum of the American Revolution, along with digital records preservation, are just a few examples of how the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints invests in communities where its members reside. The church's decision to put the temple there, to put housing there, not only filled in a gap, it gave confidence to other people in the area that other things are happening here. I hear a lot of feedback about how gorgeous it is, how this area has just been really, really enhanced. And as a born and raised Philadelphian, we're, we're, I'm personally very happy. And as a business person, it's been nothing but great. I see lots of positive things ahead for us as neighbors so closely aligned here in this neighborhood of Center City.